This series was made possible by LIAT, Honda South Africa, Off-Road Cycles and Ink Monkey Vehicle Wraps. We are on a mission to ride as many gravel passes as possible in three days along the Drakensberg escarpment between Lesotho and Eswatini. Our exploration has already taken us through five passes of varying difficulty. Today, we aim to explore another eight passes, crisscrossing the borders between the Free State and KZN provinces. This morning's liaison towards the first pass of the day spoils us with some lovely rugged trails. Hello. Sorry. I'm not here. Van dit. My name is Pierre. Hello. Hello, Pierre. Erika. Erika, as ons a doctor in Madrid. Ons kan nie jou boot afval nie. Dit kan het nie doen. Meneer, nou het jou nie die self voor die vast nie. Ek het omgekijk vir Pierre. Oh, f***. Toe sluit ek hier die paal. Draak met die plaats. Ons het een bakkie wat nou herrie smik is. Hy kan al hierna toe kom nog gauw. Yeah, no, I can feel it. I can feel the two feet going for What happened? What happened? And what happened? I think your bike is going to fall. Yeah, it's going to fall. There's a lot of people going to go here. Here, here, here. Now, let's go and see what happened. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. The front brake on Fanny's bike is locked tight, but Adrian manages to move it out of the road. The seriousness of the situation hits me hard as I follow the bucky to where Farney crashed. Hi, Jerika. Ik 
het gaan nie. Moet jy op hierdie been trap hier, Ek kan hom glad nie optel nie. Nee, nee, ek het. Ek kan hom glad nie eers beweeg nie. Ek kan jy probeer recht optel, ne? Met jy instinct gaan wees om wat been te trap. Moet jy op hom trap. Moet jy op hom trap. Ena, 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 Nee, 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 steek dit, steek dit, steek nie, wacht, 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 wat moet doen? Dit steek nie, jy moet nie my trek nie, ok? Stel net my, hou net my gewig op, ja. Ja, hou die gewig sit dit, hou die gewig sit dit. Hou net die voet op, wat dit, ja. Dit druk weer, dit druk weer, die been druk weer. And with that, Fani leaves us, seriously hurt, on the back of a total stranger's vehicle. All that we can do is to attend to the damage on the bike and analyze the crash. Adrian decides to backtrack for a couple of kilometers to get hold of Jan. It seems like we're going to need the Bucky's loading bay after all. And that's it. Adrian went to get signal to do the administration, the necessary admin. Thing. Always have a plan. When you ride alone, things like this really end your day badly. First, you try and figure out how to release that front wheel because it's totally locked. By the time that Jan joined us on the track in the mountains, the cattle herd that we passed earlier in the morning leapfrogged us again. Unfortunately, we sit with situations like this. This is part of, uh, part of the game. Said biking. Yep. From here on in, Young took care of Fani's bike and admin, and there was nothing else for me and Adrian to do but to continue our quest. And as per Fani's request, we plan on finishing it. For the next couple of kilometers, we rode in silence, reflecting on the morning's events and trying to get back into our stride again. It's tough focusing on the track when you're constantly wondering if you could have done things differently. You could lose your mind and focus thinking that maybe you were the one to blame for your friend's crash. Wondering if bringing them here was the right thing to do, maybe you should rather cancel the entire trip and spend time at the hospital helping your buddy. These things race through your mind. It fills your helmet. And then, out of the blue, I realize that is the last thing Fani wants. He wants us to keep going, even if he could do with our support right now. Then you refocus, you pay attention to your surroundings, closer attention to the track, and you push a little harder, and the monkey lifts off your back. 
The ride once again becomes a sequence of hundreds of small calculations per hour and like life, the rhythm and flow of the ride once again pulls you forward, always forward, through the swamps and the rocks and the ruts, towards your purpose, completing your original mission. But still, every now and then, we pause and we think of our riding buddy heading to hospital. Boys, mark us a brief, we think clear. It's okay, Fons. Starker. Eister. Prot later. Go. Time's two. Break it, baby. Right. At the top. At the top of calling. See me? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Collings Pass is a piece of cake compared to the liaison route that we've been on the entire morning. A couple of bumps here and there and a bit of a drop at the top, but otherwise, easy riding. <laughs> Collings doesn't drop all the way down the escarpment into the lowlands, but it ends on a sort of a shelf, if you like, between the Free State grasslands and the KZN thorn trees. The last part of the descent will be along a short, easy ride called Mwane Pass. At the bottom of Collings Pass, you get Mulwane, Mulwane, Mulwa, this one, pass. At the intersection here, Los Ticatos, over the ridge, not far.
We eventually reach the KZN's typical thorn tree felt and just love the good gravel roads in this part of the province. Until we realize why they look this good. Yes, for the best on the impact water bug. Oh, I don't know if it's the best to find it. I don't know if it's the best to find it. Come on, let's see what's going on. Oh, it's the best to find it. I don't know. This part of KZN has some of the best gravel highways in the country. If you keep an eye out for the cattle, stray goats and the odd bus, it begs you to let your hair down and race towards the horizon. Ja, kijk, als het nou hier is, 
is it Newcastle now? Hmm. And I'm doing the castle on Twitter. Right. Nigger van dag. Nigger van dag. So, what's it about? Collins? Mluane? Thomas Vier? Norman Dienst? The Sphere? Was it not in half but No five, that was fun. The view on Normandines is a perfect place to shoot pretty drone footage. I find a spot on the pass where I can launch the drone and then manage to reverse over it with my own bike. Don't even ask. After I eventually make peace with myself and my 12k incident, we head up higher on Normandines. Normandines pass at the top. This one is beautiful. Remember there's a piece of concrete just down this hill. So uh, don't scrick when you see it. Normandy! And how's that for a view? Wow! Hello. Something interesting. Top of Norman Deans, but without Fani. My oh, we're missing you, huh? I mean, look at it. All these yellowwood trees. And you're not here, bro. Me and Adrian, we're nailing it. And hopefully, hopefully we'll cover a couple of more passes before the day ends. I think we need about five still. Four, I'm not sure. But we're missing you, Mo. And apparently you say you're in the hospital now and and they're going 
check your leg now only after about three hours worth of ambulance riding we're doing this for you funny bro at the top we pass over some old markings in the sandstone carved by ox wagon that used this pass more than a century ago <laughs> we were now once again in the Free State Province, on top of the escarpment, racing along the winding tracks that glide over the green ridges. Time for the fifth pass of the day, the lesser known Grootpoort Pass. This is a nice one. Huh? Yeah, yeah. A nice short surprise here. No, it's not too long. Nice couple of steps, but these are nice, nice smooth steps. There's no sharp ridges. Yeah, yeah. Nice little pass, you can do this from both sides. From either side. Not too challenging from the bottom either. You go ahead. You take your line. There. It looks worse than it actually is. Yeah, it's not so bad. If you take the right line. Yes, with the right line, obviously. Not like me. I can't see the line at all. I'm too close. <laughs> <laughs> this is at the bottom of Grootpoort Pass. It's a lovely little smooth step up, up, up. If you come down, just lean back a little. It's easy, easy. It's not like the others. The other tough ones. There's no place to mark here because there's no steel fence. But um, I'm not going to mark it. But isn't this amazing? Look at it. Think of all the work that's gone into these sandstone fences. It is fence poles. It's unbelievable. And you see them everywhere here. Spectacular. And they're still here from who knows where. But Grootpoort Pass, a nice ride. And at the top of the plateau, it's nice and quick. Just check out. Every now and then there's a surprising turn. Riding through these landscapes at the end of the rainy season virtually guarantees that you'll be doing a lot of water crossings every day. Oh, at the seashore, water! Okay, let the games begin. Cheers! Go! Die! Fuck it, I! Die! She need die! Fuck! Hiri, that's the taken bit. Bloody hooligan. I started to think that Adrian was really out to get me.
time for some payback. That is a deep one. A deep one, yeah. You don't know if it's deep or shallow, so you just take your chance. Works, and it doesn't work. It might, it might not. Just shallow. Yeah! Yes. Oh. Another one, Perry. Uh, this is a deeper one. I think. Yes, it's bubbling. Something is bubbling. Yeah. Hole in the ground. Like a broken pot. Yeah. Uh, probably, eh? Uh, my boots are worth it then, man. <laughs> we were about to go to Bullis Pass, but then we realized there's another pass to the left called the Fras Wuchter Poort. Pass. The Fras Pass. 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 Yeah, the Fras Pass. Pass. So, um... We're quickly going to just notch one up La Frost Pass and back and then we can go to Miller's because La Frost is like what, five days away? This is probably it, you know. I think this is it. If only the signboards were left there, we could see that there were signboards in the right hill. Just a little, uh, little, just a little climb. And you tick this off and you have another pass on your list. I think this is it. That is it. That huh? is it. That is it. You believe it. That is it. That was the frost. It's too easy. But you know what? If it's named a pass, it's a it's pass. A pass. It's, a it's a pass. It's a pass. And so Fonny's also got a pass now, remember? Funny pass. Collins, yeah, that pass part before Collins is Fonny's pass. You see, from this side, it's something totally different. You know, this will freak me out when it's wet. Yeah. Going down here, yeah. When it's wet. Uh-uh. Thank you. Camping at the bottom. Sent food. Look at the beautiful river. Yo. 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 Look at the bridge. That is lovely. Obviously a private little road there. <laughs> Look where you're going. Don't know where you're looking. See? This is... This is for that oak on the Meerkat floor on the back of the sign. And for you, I'll do it again. Back of the sign. How's that? La France Port Pass. Beautiful going up. Unbelievable view coming down. You'll shit yourself when it's wet. Black. And this pass. Nine Ks. That away. That's a manier here, what? Yeah. Oh, that's a good one. Can you move your train? So, the pot are ready. Man, man, sit here after. Sit here after you, man. I'm going to get this, man. It's a pot. Yeah, 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 yeah. The beauty doesn't stop. Too much pretty!
not that high. The boss, I mean. Bring it, you bring it all, friend. Okay, he doesn't say much, but the advantage of having Adrian here is he's taller on a rock. Ah, say, Papa, there it is. <laughs> Just got the news from Fanny in the Bethlehem Hospital as we're going down Miller's Pass that um, the doctors are attending to him at this stage. Fanny broke a tibia and a fibula just above the ankle, right ankle. Yeah, fortunately we're all wearing boots. So you all the kits and all the knee braces. Why did he break his tibia and fibia between the knee and the, and the ankle? Well, I think uh, the boot protected his ankle. That's probably the case now, because you think, you think that the ankle would break if your foot twists yeah. in the boot. Yeah? That's right, that's right. The, the boot break. twists, are, yeah, the, because the boot twists around your leg and takes your foot around with it. But yeah. that's why you're wearing boots, it's for your ankles. It's not for your for your legs, it's for your ankles. Yeah, I think he uh, is he's fortunate that he didn't uh, damage his ankle. So that's a much bigger injury. Could have been much bigger. Yeah. Yeah, hey, funny. Hey, funny, funny. Finishing, we're doing what Funny told us to do. And we're knowing it, because if we want to do what he wants us to do, we have to move. So Funny, we're doing it for you, Chuck. Exhausted and muddy, we eventually reunite with Jan at our overnight accommodation. And then, we were three again. After a day like today, it's time to call our loved ones. Yeah, um, Jan has alles gemanaged. So, I can Adrian was healed at the opvang site. But he said to us, Rai. I said, but I can't. We're going to all together with you. He said, you're not ready. We're going to make it now. What an eventful day. <laughs> really interesting day. <laughs> Let's start from the beginning. Okay, right. 35 k's, 40 k's in. Funny and uh, funny and this thing. At least two hours to get funny sorted and uh, the bike loaded. It was at least two hours, so two to three hours. And Jan, thank you. And when he was evacuated and the bike was off again on, on Jan's bucky, half past 11 we left and we had nine passes to do 280 odd kilometers, I think. Mm. Took an hour over Collins Pass. Yeah. Well, to get, uh, to, to the get, to get the, 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 through those, at the, on the plateau, there's those marshes to get through that. Mm. Collins is special now. And it will always be special because of what happened with Fani. Bulwani was chop chop, quick quick. Yeah, that was it. Bulwani was quick quick. Sonax the field pass was beautiful, eh? Very nice. That's yeah. a lovely little little, little mm. sinky. Sonax the field is actually a very good quality road. It's a very good quality it's road. It's a, like a gravel, fine gravel. It's very nice road. Very nice, very nice. Norman Dean was probably the most spectacular of them all. Mm. There at the Ark, right at the top, we stopped there with oh, all yeah. those yeah, yellow trees. Uh, yeah. uh, mm. It was nice. Uh, a Groot Poort, which is just it's just a drop down, but it's a nice it's a bonus. bonus. It's yeah, it's a bonus. Just those nice round sandstone knolls you go over. It happened on La France with the Pass. Oh, just the one, yeah. That was the one of the bonus. Yeah. La France with the to the left. Beste Wuchte, we streamed through Beste Wuchte without <laughs> doing anything. So, and then Miller's with Fanny and the hospital and Jan and the recovery. <laughs> we did some hard riding. Yeah, we did some hard riding. And we'll make it eight. That's a definite yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember these passes, if you want to ride them, to have some experience at least, you know what I mean? Because they're not easy. Nice riding, and then all of a sudden there's a surprise. There's yeah. a surprise, chaos. So, don't go 140. We don't do that speed. Just go slowly. Shh. <laughs> so those are the passes and Fonny yeah. is in hospital, they are operating on him as we speak. Tomorrow morning, <sighs> gentlemen, we are heading out tomorrow to a town called Wakkerstroom. 
and it looks like tomorrow it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight passes again. And it's just me and you, and Jan, every now and then we'll meet Jan. Jan, I have an idea. Can we have lunch in the felt with a fire? Please. Please. I think we're going to bry tomorrow. Nick. Because you told us yeah. to go. We went, funny. And this whole day is for you, bro. On funny. On funny. Rico, we used to follow the bike. My heart. When is it not living there? No. Oh. No, what? What's that? Push me again. He's so sure. Dollar would be in. And he would be in. Dine is here off. Dine is dark. Ah, the foot on so. So, see, I think that. You seem like it. Op zijn kop, op zijn kop het ook een camera gehad. Weet je, weet je. We gaan die Tanya Cruiser bakje verbreken. Hij nee? zei hallo voor die Tanya. Tanya, hou daarvan. Zet gauw, ons van Baba is hier, hou daarvan. Zie je, kijk om. Kijk eens hoe je gaat nu. Ga daar gaan. Watch, watch, watch. Die boykie net omgevlucht. Mooi die. Dat is die binnenslag ik aan het voel. Ga je bij? Zie je, pa? Die kun je les, die les om te leren is niet omkijken als je bike rijdt. Moet niet omkijken als je bike rijdt. Kijk voor die. Je moet het omgekijk. Kijk. Je moet niet omkijken. Kijk niet de hele tijd voor. Als je boetskoop, wat ga je doen als je boetskrijgt? Mijn moeder fiets Wat? Wat is je moeder fiets? Ik moet fietsen. 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 Je gaat nu naar die donkere kant toe, geluk. Die oranje kant. Lekker maar ouwe, je gaat baie keer. Je moet die brie terugkijk nie. Je moet nie sê die ouwe maar hy terugkijk. So. Kan jy het hem of? Niks. Kan jy het hem of? Niks. Ok. Goed, dit is recht nie verstaan. Adrian, jou kleen. Dank jy die goed. Sê paal nou lekker mooi vir... Paal nou mooi vir... Sê nou maar. <laughs> Join us again in the next episode as we stumble upon one of the most picturesque passes we've ever seen, complete our challenge and meet up with a reconditioned Fani again. A special word of thanks to Erika, Fani's doctors and nurses and Riku and Janku Kutsia. <laughs>